Hello everyone, you are welcome to today's class. So in this class, we want to look at standard form. And the objectives for this video are this. Number one, we're going to look at meaning of standard form. Number two, we look at how do we express numbers greater than one in standard form. After that form, then we can come to how to express numbers that are less than one in standard form. So next one is how do we change number standard form to ordinary form? So what I would advise before we commence, I would advise to try as much as possible to move away whatever that can distract you so that you can get the most uh, benefit from this video. So let's get started. Now when we talk about standard form, standard form is writing a very big number or a very small number in a short way. Scientists and astronomers, they make use of the standard form in most of their writings. So they, it's, it's just a way of writing a large number in, this, in, a, in a simple way. Uh, and it's also a way of writing a very small number in a simple way. Let's say, for instance, we have, uh, we have something like uh, 1,485,676. Okay, let's say 1 million. 480,000, 1,480,000. So if scientists want to write this, they will not write it in full. So what are they going to do? They write it in standard form. That's why you see, if you go to lab, they are presenting some results that are quite very large number. They will not give you this form. They will write this 1.48 times 10 raised to power uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times per 6. It is that. So this is what we call standard form. Now, Standard form uh, has a particular direction that is followed. So, when we want to write a number in standard form, it should be written in this form. A, that is, you are writing it in, uh, as a product of two numbers. You are writing that number as product of what two numbers. That is A multiplied by 10 raised to the N. Where this A, where this A is a number between 1 and a what? 10. But not up to 10. That is, we can write it this form. Uh, this A, 1, less than equals to A, less than 10. That is, it's a number between 1 and 10. So the number is to be 1, but not less than 1, and cannot be 10, so it should be less than 10, and this is between, it's a digit number, one digit number, one digit number before the decimal point, a digit number before the decimal point, that is the reason why, you see that I wrote 4.85 times 10 raised to the power of 6, you can see that the decimal point, this one, is a digit before the decimal point, that's how we write numbers in standard form, then the n here refers to integers, don't forget, we have treated integers before. Integers are whole numbers, both positive and negative whole numbers. So both positive and negative whole numbers are called integers, and including zero. So which means this n will be negative, will also be positive, and also be zero. So which means we're talking about both positive, positive, and positive, negative, and what? Zero. So when we talk about this, we're talking about this. So positive, negative numbers, and zero are what we call what? integers. All this is clear. So this is the form which will be taken when you want to write any number in standard form. So the next stage we have uh, talked about the meaning. So that is that of the meaning. That how do we express numbers greater than one in standard form? The example of that is this. Let's look at this example. Express 4,856 in standard form. In standard form. So we want to write this one in standard form. How do we do that? So the first thing we're going to do, we have 4,856 in standard form. So the first thing you look at is 
Where will I put decimal point? We will I put decimal point to give me this form that will be a number that will be left between 1 and 10. So which means if I should put it there, it will be 4.856 times 10. That remains the power. You will notice that this number here, if you have here, this number here, is a number between 1 and what 10. This number is greater than 1 but less than what 10. If you should put the decimal point after 8, that would be 48. You'll be wrong. That's why I said that this one will be a digit, a digit before the decimal point. And that is why we have 4.856 times 10 raised power now. So the next thing is that, okay, where will I put, what will I put here? Because this number is greater than 1, 4,856. You now look at it this way. Anytime you have a number that is written like we have 2, the same thing as writing 2.0. If you have 25, the same thing as writing was 25.0. It means here there's a point, point at this at this place. So we have to move the decimal point. We have now moved this decimal point to this place. We have moved how many times? Let's look at it. We have moved it to one, two, three. So which means it's going to raise to power what? Three. Because we have moved it what? Decimal point uh, three times. Now, is it going to be positive or negative? If the number you are considering is the number you are given is greater than 1, as you have here, is greater than 1, the power here will always be what? Positive. But if it is less than 1, we're still going to look at that one that. If it is less than 1, the power here will be what? Negative. I hope I'm making sense. So let's look at example 2. This is the first one. Let's look at example 2. To express 0 0.004 0 0.00536 in standard form. In standard form. So how do you do this? Don't tell me. If you look at this number here, this number given here, this number, it is a number that is less than one because we have. 0. Point something shows that the number here is less than what? 1. So if that is the case, what are we going to do? We're still going to do the same thing. So solution to this will be to solve this. So we have 0. 0.00536 equals. So we are going to move this decimal point to where? To give us the form that to give us a number that will be between 1 and 10. You know, if you put it here, that will be 5.36, which is 5 is between 1 and what? 10. But if you put it after 3, that means it's 53. That's as done against what the law we have here. Hope I'm making sense. So in that case, we move this 1, 2, 3. So that gives us 5.36 multiplied by 10. We have moved it how many times? Three times. Which part three? Now, because the number given here is less than one, so also the power here will be negative. So that's what I said here. So it's integer. The n is an integer which will be positive or negative or what? Zero. Here it's going to be negative because the number given is what less than one. I believe this uh, is very clear. And don't forget, this topic covers. Uh, FGS2, that is year 8 in Nigerian curriculum, year 9, that is GS3, year 10, that is SS1, SS2, and SS3. The same way, the one each question will come out in my head. It can't go beyond this, except they ask you to do some operations, which is just the same thing. So we're still going to look at that before we end this uh, class. So that is that on the first and the second one. So if we then move to the third one, expressing number. Okay, we've done that. Changing numbers in standard form, ordinary form. So this one involves two things. So let's look at this uh, example to explain this. Changing numbers in standard form, ordinary form. So change the following to ordinary forms. So if you look at this, this is in standard form, just you won't be just completed now. 
And this one is also in standard form. Let's look at the first one. The first one, we have 6.7 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6. Now, the rule is that if when you were in JS1, you must have been taught uh, multiplication by power of 10. Multiplication by power of 10. You know, standard form is talking about power of 10. This one means 10 raised to the power 6, right? So we can expand it. We can expand it, which means 6.7 multiplied by what? Six zeros. That is what? 1 million. Right? So we are multiplying this by what? We are not using calculator. So in this case, what we are going to do, we have a digit after the decimal point. I have how many digits? One digit after the decimal point. So if we want to remove that digit, this will turn to what? 7. Because we have removed it, this will cancel 1, 0. Remaining how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is 6.7 what? Million. So we have changed this to what? To standard form. So if what we have here is this. We have 6.785 uh, 6 times 10 raised to the power 6. This value will change. Because we want to cancel 3 decimal places. So that means we're going to cancel 3 zeros here. So that means we're going to have 6.785. Six point seven times six zeros, right? So that gives us six seven eight five. We are going to cancel three what zeros. Just one, two, three. Then add the remaining zeros to it. Zero, zero, zero. So that will be the answer. That is six point seven eight five. Hope I'm making sense. You can see this one is left with three zeros. Why is on how many zeros? Five zeros. So the same thing. Hope that is clear. So that is that on this one. Then we look at the second one. The second question, which is this. So looking at the second one, which is 2.36 times 10 raised to power what? minus 3. So you can see this one is raising to power negative number. So that means the, the number we're going to get, you will know from the question that this one, you are going to get number less than what? One. Because it's raised to power negative. This one, when looking at it, you know that this one, you're going to get number greater than one, as you can see here. Right? Good. So in that case, what we're going to do now is let's expand this. That's 2.36 multiplied by. So this, I want to change this one to, this is index. I have to change this. So this one will then be 1 divided by 10 raised to the power 3. I've changed the minus to 1 divided by. So log indices. Log indices here. So when you have a number raised to power negative, so you change the negative power to 1 divided by then the value will be the decimal. So in that case, uh, it will be the denominator right now. So this will then be 2.36 divided by 10 raised to the power of 3. So this is division by power of what? 10. We are divided by power of 10. So in that case, when you divide by power of 10, you move the decimal, you move decimal point to the left. So that means you're going to have three, three digits you move it three times to the left. So we have 2.36. That will be 1, 2, 3. Right? Then you have a decimal point here. 0, 0. So which means the answer will be 0 0.00236. That is the answer. If you convert this one back to standard form, you get this answer. So you move it. This will be 2.36 times 10 raised to power 1, 2, 3. Raised to power minus 3. This is the same thing as a question. So this is how to change numbers in standard form to ordinary form. So we're going to look at an example that has to do with operations that involves a standard form. So that's what I'm going to do next now. All right, this is where we are going to stop uh, 
here under this standard form. So in the next video, I'll show you basic operations uh, with standard form. We are about to be looking at addition, subtraction, uh, uh, division, multiplication, the one involving roots and uh, squares, and so on and so forth. So we want to look at, at that in the next video. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you find it useful and helpful. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video.